Hi guys, I've done a short video just to show you the changes that have brought into the Show Me Tell Me questions back in December 2017. The main changes are that you will still get the Tell Me questions before you start your test, but the Show Me questions will be actually introduced whilst out on the road driving. If you do get a question wrong, you will not fail your test, but it will be marked down as a driving fault, or a minor fault as most people call them. Let's start with the Tell Me questions. The examiner will ask you one tell me question at the start of the driving test before you start driving. We'd have to explain how you'd carry out a safety task. Question one, tell me how you would check your brakes are working before you start a journey. Explain to the examiner that you would press on the brake pedal and about halfway down it should feel quite hard and firm. It should not feel slack or spongy. Another way of checking it is to brake gently as you drive off and the car should brake in a straight line and not pull to one side. If the steering wheel pulls to one side, the brakes will need looking at. Question two. Tell me where you would find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how the tyre pressures should be checked. Usually, it is best to check the tyres when they are cold. Most cars come with a manufacturer's guide or a handbook so you can refer to them. The Renault Capture actually has the tyre pressures printed on the sticker on the inside of the driver's door column as well. To check the tyre pressures, use a reliable pressure gauge, either at a garage or you can buy a handheld one. Once checked, don't forget to replace the valve caps. Also, do not forget to check the spare tyre. Question 3. Tell me how you would make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The headrest should be adjusted so that your head sits as close to it as comfortable and it is such a height that your eye level or top of your ears are roughly in line with the centre of the headrest. If you do need to adjust it, there is a small button at the base of the headrest that you can press to move the head restraint up or down. Question 4. Tell me how you would check your tyres to ensure they have sufficient tread depth and their general condition is safe to use on the road. Explain to the examiner that you would inspect the general condition of the tyres. Check the tyre outer wall for any rips, tears or bulges. Also check the tyres for any nails or sharp objects. Make sure the tyres have the correct air pressure and check that the tread depth of each tyre is within legal requirements. The minimum the tread depth can be is 1.6 mm across the centre three quarters of the breadth of the tyre and around the entire circumference. We can check the tyre with a tread depth gauge. Question 5. Tell me how you would check that the headlights and tail lights are working. You do not need to exit the vehicle to answer this question. Firstly, turn on your headlights. On the Renault Capture, the stalk is on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Twist the end of the stalk two clicks away from you. One click is for the side lights, two clicks is for the dip beam. Once you have turned them on, you would then get out and walk around the car, checking all the bulbs are working. There is no need to actually do this, just tell the examiner what you would do, as this is still a tell me question. Question 6. Tell me how you would know if you had a problem with your anti-locking braking system, or better known as the ABS. If there was an issue with the anti-locking braking system or the ABS, a warning light on the dash would come on and stay on. Question 7. Tell me how you would check the direction indicators are working. The easiest way to do this is to press the hazard warning switch situated at the top of the dash in the centre, identified by the red triangle emblem. Then you would get out or walk around the car and check all the indicators are working correctly not forgetting to check the door mirror lights if fitted. Question 8. Tell me how you would check the brake lights are working on this car. Firstly, press the brake pedal and get a friend to stand behind the car to see if the brake lights are working. Or if you are on your own, reverse up to a reflective surface like a garage door, a window and look for the reflection of the brake lights. Question 9. Tell me how you would check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. Firstly, with the engine off, apply gentle pressure to the steering wheel by turning it slightly till it feels tight. Then, start the engine and you should notice the steering wheel turn very easily and feel light to the turn when driving. 
Question 10. Tell me how you would switch on your rear fog lights and explain when you would use them. You do not need to exit the vehicle. To switch your fog lights on the Renault Capture, you first need to turn on your dipped headlights. This is done by turning the end of the stalk on the left hand side of the steering wheel two clicks forward. Then using the small toggle switch just to the inside of the stalk, flick the switch downwards. This will put on your rear fog lights. Switching it forward will put on your front fog lights, but for test purposes, it's just a rear one required. Fog lights should only be used when visibility is less than 100 meters, and do not forget to turn them off again once driving conditions have improved. Question 11. Tell me how you would switch on your headlights from dip beam to main beam, and explain how you know the main beam is on. To operate your main beam, or as many people call it, the high beam, you first need to switch on your dipped headlights again. Do this by turning the stalk on the left hand side of the steering wheel two clicks forward. Then push the actual stalk away from you towards the front windscreen to put the main beam on. To confirm the main beam is on, there should be a blue light on the dashboard. Just before I explain the underbonnet questions, I will show you how to actually open the bonnet on a Renault Capture. Down in the passenger side footwell there is a catch. Get your hand under the lever and pull it back towards you. This will pop the bonnet open. Then go to the front of the car. The bonnet should have opened just enough for you to get your hands under. Slightly right of centre, slide your hand right to left and you will find a catch which will release the bonnet fully. Once opened, the bonnet is on the hydraulic system so it will stay open itself. To close the bonnet, just gently pull down the bonnet and give it a little pressure to lock it closed. Question 12. Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check the engine has sufficient oil. Open the bonnet then point to the oil cap where you would pour in the oil. This is identified by a small round yellow cap with an oil can emblem on it. The dipstick is attached to the inside of this cap. Some cars the dipsticks are separately from the cap. To check the oil level you would pull the dipstick out of the engine, wipe it clean then reinsert it and pull it out again and check the level of the oil. Near the bottom of the stick there are two markers indicating the minimum and the maximum levels. The oil level should be somewhere between these two markers. The best time to check the oil level is once the engine has cooled down also make sure the car is on the level surface so you get a correct reading. Question 13 Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check the engine has sufficient engine coolant. Open the bonnet and identify the engine coolant reservoir located to the left hand side. Just make sure the level of the fluid is between the minimum and the maximum markers on the side of the container. Always make sure the engine is cool before opening the cap to top up the coolant. Question 14. Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Again, open the bonnet, locate and identify the brake fluid reservoir. This is found in the top left hand corner. Check that the level of the fluid is between the minimum and the maximum markers on the side of the reservoir itself. The show me questions. The new show me questions have been introduced into the driving test so you can show the examiner you can perform an everyday task whilst driving and keeping control of the car. If you are unsure of what to do, the examiner will ask you to pull up on the left when it's safe to do so and then find the relevant control. Question 1. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would wash and clear the rear windscreen? The key words here are when it is safe to do so. Do not attempt to do this task until you are sure it can be done safely. Don't attempt it as you are approaching a roundabout or a junction or even traffic lights where you should be concentrating on the immediate task. The stalk to the right of the steering wheel does all the operations related to the window wipers. To operate the rear windscreen washers, twist the end of the stalk away from you two clicks and hold it into position on the second click. This will then squirt water down the back window and then the wiper will automatically activate itself. Once you release the stalk, the water will stop and the wipers will stop after a couple of extra wipes. Question 2. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would wash and clear the front windscreen? Again, the key words here are when it is safe to do so. 
This task is very similar to the rear window wash, except you pull the wiper stalk back towards you and hold it into position. This will squirt water up to the front windscreen, then once you let go of the stalk, the water will stop, but the wipers will continue to do an extra couple of wipes. Question 3. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would switch on your dipped headlights? The headlights are situated on the stalk to the left of the steering wheel. To operate the dipped lights, you have to twist the end of the stalk two clicks away from you. This will operate your dipped headlights. Question 4. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would set your rear demister? In the centre of the console, there are all the heating controls which are used to demist the front and the rear windows. To demist the rear window, press the demist button on the panel. An orange light will come on. This button heats up the elements in the back window, which in turn clears any condensation or steam. Question 5. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how to operate the horn? The horn is situated in the centre of the steering wheel. When it is safe to do so, press it nice and firm. Question 6. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would demist the front windscreen? Again, using the control panel in the centre of the console, press the front windscreen demist button and the orange light will come on. Question 7. When it is safe to do so, can you show me how you would open and close the side window? Again, make sure it is safe before you do this operation. The window controls are situated on the driver's door to the right. There are four switches, one for each window. The switch with the words auto on it are the driver's window. Give the switch a quick press down and the window will drop fully down. Then lift the switch back up and the window will return back up. Well, there you have it guys. That was his show me tell me questions for the Renault Capture 2019. I do hope it was easy to follow and you enjoyed watching it. So if you've got any questions guys, just leave them below. Thanks a lot. See you for now.